that killed HBO. Why? Why? I would love to, honey. I am so with you on that. And I did! It's, I, it's so hard for me to sit and complain about games, but, I mean, I have to disconnect myself from the fact that this game was gifted to me. Um... Because otherwise, every game I played, I'd just be like, eh, hey, it's, it's good for a free game. <laughs> because every, every, almost every game I play this has been gifted to me. So, um, it's true. I'm very... This is certainly a game that I'm glad I didn't pay for. But I am... I am glad that I got a chance to play through it. Um, I, was, I was excited about the game. I, when I heard that this game had, like, a, you know, an, an Arkham Asylum-esque, you know, combat system, I was like, Yes! I'm all about that. I love any game where I can, uh, you know, that, that's anything like a, an Arkham game. I'm I'm there, and uh, I don't know, man. This one, uh, th this is. I keep thinking that this game was developed by Capcom because it's it seems so like, well, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know why. I have not seen State of Decay. Uh, yeah, no kidding, sickly, exactly. Turns out, uh, the free-flow combat, not as easy to replicate. And even some that aren't, it's true. That's why I put it in there. I beat, I beat, I beat good games, I beat okay games, I beat shitty games. I just want to beat games. Um... Uh, let's see, I was at Adamant after a video, but I... No, it was a first or, or for a new company. Is this... Wait, who developed this? I don't even know who developed this. I was under the impression that Capcom developed it. Uh... Oh yeah, I've played way worse games than this. Uh, oh, that's right, Don't Nod. God. <laughs> Basically, the developer was... They, they titled their game Remember Me because they're just like, Please remember who, remember who developed the game. And I just can't. I cannot bring myself to remember who developed this game. It's a really, it's an okay game. It's, it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not a crappy game. I want to, I want to make that very clear. It's not, it's not a shitty game. It's not a crappy game. It's a very okay game. It's not terrible. Don't nod off. Yeah, exactly. Um, amazing, amazing soundtrack, amazing visuals. Um, unfortunately, the visuals. It's I swear the visuals, the way the environments were set up, they they added to another one of the big weak points of the game. I swear, one of my main complaint. Okay, well hold on. The biggest complaint I have now that I've finished the game on, excuse me, on hard. And as far as I know, there is no option to turn them off, but what the fuck is with the game holding your hand even right up to the boss battle where it's telling you straight out what to do during the boss battle? Uh, when that message popped up on the screen and said, like, use this skill so that you can have the robot shoot the cube, I was just like, oh, why would you do that to your own game? You just, you totally just gutted your game for me. Like, it's just so sad seeing that. And maybe I can see where if there was an option to turn off that, that would be okay? Because there have been other games where I've ranted about that and there was an option to turn them off, so it was kind of like my own... that was my own bad. I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe... And it, yeah, and I'm playing on hard. I almost squeaked there. I'm losing my voice, so I almost squeaked out there. Um... Exactly. I was on. I was on hard. I played that game on hard, and usually hard means hard. Um. Yeah. I wish I would have finished out that one battle with my foot. That would have been a great highlight. But as it was, it was just. I was just proving like how unbalanced the combat is. There were some battles that were just annoying and uh, and difficult. Just because of, you know, like, the, the first battle that I did uh, today, when I first started playing this game, was, uh, you know, the, the only thing that made it difficult and annoying was that this light kept going on and off, and I had to, I had to keep turning it on. Uh, 
It's pretty much, yeah. The icon, yeah, I was gonna say, number one, the, the, the hand holding and the tutorial, the tutorial shit all throughout the game was really disappointing. I was hoping it would just, what I was hoping was that it would just give me all the moves, you know, maybe like in the first half of the game. Just give me all the skills, tell me what I need to do, and then, and then the, you know, maybe the last half of the game would have been like, there you go, now you've got all the skills, you, you utilize them, we'll let you, you know, improvise a little bit. This game has zero, zero room for improvisation. They do not want you improvising. Uh, even, even the combat, uh, is very... The three words I've been saying, cookie cutter, rigid, and... What was the other one? I don't know. Rigid cookie cutter and something. Show me your moves! Um... Yeah, yeah, it was... It's it's those two together, yes. It's the the rigidness and the tutorial, the, the coddling was really... It's not satisfying. It's it's not satisfying at all. Whoever did the music, I'm, I probably already missed whoever did the soundtrack, but... Big, big kudos to whoever did the music. And the visual design, the art design of the game is, is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um... It was! Anitas, I'm with you! The... The most powerful part of the game for me was, uh, the Inception-like, you know, uh, the, the diving, like, remixing a remix of a memory was very cool. I thought that was a really cool idea. Um... But, uh... Overall, it's, it's just, a. Uh, yeah, I'd give I, I would get yeah I would give the game like a six point five six or six point five out of the game or out of the thing. Uh, Udemus, if you don't want this game spoiled, you really shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> this is when we talk about what happened in the game. Uh, <laughs> if you don't want it spoiled, don't <laughs> you should not be here. <laughs> um. That's hilarious. Hold on, I just got a tweet here. Uh, apparently, according to Kazura, out on Twitter, he says, The first project Don't Nod did was Fluids, a program that was designed... Uh, it was supposed to simulate fluids in real time. Explain the coffee. <laughs> what was with the coffee? That was like... You would think for a scene that was so pivotal, uh, you know, for like story-wise, I couldn't take my eyes off the coffee not spilling ever. The coffee was a metaphor for the combat system. Rigid as fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was a joke. I don't know. It was the future coffee, bro. Of course. Yeah, I'd give I'd give this game like a six point five. It would honestly be like a six, but the I might eat. Eh, yeah, I'd, I'd give it like a six point five because the uh, the visuals and the music were so amazing. But man, pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what uh, which combat system I would. Prefer Kingdom of Amalur, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, or Remember Me. It's uh, it's kind of a hard decision, really. They're both pretty. Eh, they wear thin really fast. Both both systems. Um, yeah, Amalur at least. I mean, you had a lot more customization, and you you weren't so boxed in. There's just something about this system, it's so boxed in. I did enjoy it, I did enjoy the combat, it wasn't like... Again, for me, it's it's not a good thing that I was probably, you know, playing uh, Arkham Asylum so much, like every day for like the past two weeks. And then playing like Amalur and then this game. Play just get the regular thanks. 
Yeah, exactly. It's I. Everything is paling in con in, in comparison to uh, Arkham Asylum for me right now. It's okay. I mean, Satan Agria. What I'm trying to say is like this is not a bad game. It is not a bad game. It's it's just got some really glaring flaws for me, for me as as a player. Production babies. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Eight babies came into the world. Yeah, <laughs> slow Pokemon. Thanks for playing. Thank you. And that's Remember Me. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, let me get the thing over here. Let me see what... Uh, Oh my god, there, there's uh, achievements all over the place I could have gone for there. Uh, yeah, there's no new poll because um, I'm going to be gone all of next week. And even Monday after that, I think. Basically, June 10th through the 19th, uh, we are going to be in Walt Disney World, living it up, yucking it up with Goofy and Donald and Gooby, please. So, I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to be casting. Please. Remember me? Anyone? Is there anyone out there laughing? Anyone? Did I get anyone with that? Um, I am going to be gone. Oh, the unsubs are already. Oh, my God. The unsubs are pour, pour, pouring in. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. The fail fish. Why the fail fish? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow is going to be the last cast. Forever. No! For a while. For like at least the uh <laughs> Fuck you, Frank! <laughs> Don't you leave me, you stupid bitch! Oh, the language. That it was a direct quote from the game. No, I added the stupid bitch part, but it was very it was very harsh. Anyway, what I'm saying is this. We are going to be in Florida. Florida! And the state. Not the character from Good Times. Anyway, um, we're going to be in Walt Disney World. And so please don't forget about my channel. Please please don't unsubscribe because you think I'm done or I'm dead or I, I have no, no respect for any of you. Um, it's going to be painful for me. I'm going to be... Here we go. Uh, this is the perfect segue. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. D destroy the Zorn that chased you in the prologue. I'm already bored of looking at these. I don't give a flying fuck. Whoa, what the- Hey! What is this shit? Oh, it's like a demo thing. Looks- looks good, doesn't it? Why? This is like a third. this is like a 30 frames per second... ...reel here. Oh my god, Kid Christmas. I still don't understand why I was fighting Kid Christmas. White Tyson! Come on! Oh yeah, breaking the shield. White Tyson's punch out. That's how it's done. Just watch, watch his eyebrows. Like somebody said in the chat the other day. Oh, and there it is. Mmm, that music is so good, man. Um, what's going on here? Hi. What was I talking about? I don't know. We're talking. So next week, this is the perfect segue. Before I got caught up in watching the the demo reel, let me let me put some music on here. Um, winner. <laughs> um, I know I'm very white. Not very white. Very white. Um, so because I'm gonna be gone, what you should do is follow me on Twitter. Come on, guys. I'm very close to uh, fifteen thousand followers on Twitter. Could you make my day? You don't understand. Uh, tw Twitter followers are like lifeblood for me now. I don't even care about followers or subs or any of that crap. If I don't get Twitter followers, yeah, I'm going to get a Florida tan. Um, I'm just going to put this in here. Twitter.com slash man versus game. That is me. Help me get like an officially recognized Twitter account. I want the check mark. Once I get the official, you know, Twitter, whatever, check mark, I can die happy. 
or something. So, anyway, that's me. Twitter.com slash man versus game. If you don't like Twitter, all, uh, all my uh, tweets are copied over to Facebook.com slash man versus game. You can like that. Um, I honestly don't do a lot over there. I don't do a lot of, you know, thingies. I don't spend a lot of time at Facebook. It's just too much. It's too... too I'm, I'm a Twitter man. Uh, I like Twitter. I like that it's stripped down. I like that it's very bare bones. I'm all about that. Um, I am the man versus game. Well, man versus game is the cast I do. I'm just man. Please call me man. Please call me bad. Uh, Mr. Bad Request. No. Um, anyway, am I over 15,000? Oh, God, I love you guys. Oh, hold on. Let me put this in the, in the chat. I have got to, I have got to do this. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. It feels so good. Oh, oh, all right. Um, girl, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. What was I talking about? I don't know. Um, oh, with the Craigasm, yes. I will never forget Craig from Hot Blooded Gaming. And yeah, Danny B style even has a bit of the old, uh, oh, going on. Um, it's a minor, it's a minor healing potion. Anyway, I wasn't done spamming you guys with shameless self-promotion. Um, if you would like to help support what I do here, I got a couple options for you. One, manversusgamefanshop.com. Here we go. Man versus game fan shop .com. Now, all this information is down in this, you know, show your support uh, section in the info section. Um, you can go there. Man versus game fan shop .com is my game fan shop. And if you want to purchase anything there, it will support me. Make sure you always use the code MVGAME, uh, just like the emoticon here at Twitch. The. Uh, the troll face thing that just kills me every time to make that face. You're going to get an extra 5% off. That ends up being like a dollar thirty-five, I think, on most purchases. <laughs> but you should still do it! Is Carnage in here? Carnage! There's the gooch. You want to use MV gooch. That will get you an extra 0% off. After you use the gooch, make sure that you always go MV game. Uh, don't worry about caps or all that stuff. Anyway, enough about manversusgamefanshop.com. Lastly, but certainly not leastly, there are Amazon links down below. No matter where you're at, well, maybe if you're in Africa, it's not going to work. Or Russia, or China, or Japan. Sorry, Japan. Uh, but if you buy, if you click through those links, and then proceed to purchase literally anything uh, at Amazon, it will support the uh, the channel. So, anything. This is epic as fuck, by the way, this music. Uh, Australia? I don't know! I don't know, Mortified. I don't know. What about Australians? I don't know. Mortified, that's so cool to find out that you're a uh, Australian cat! Uh, so, I don't know. You should try it. What happened to Australia? How come Australia doesn't have a, uh... How come they don't have an Amazon going on? Is there an Australian Amazon? Maybe I should get on that. Uh, on some, I know. Fuck you. Alright, <laughs> that was That was me pretending to be you telling me. Saying fuck you to me. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway. Is there anything else I have to say to you guys? Yes, there is. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for another extended cast. We ended up doing some good old 10 hour, 10 hours of broadcasting today. Finished Remember Me. Tomorrow is like a free day. And it's, it's, let's make it a good one, guys. Tomorrow is going to be my last cast in a while. Let me remind you, I broadcast every Monday through Friday, starting at 12 and 6 p.m. Eastern. That works out to be uh, 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. GMT. So, make sure to write that down. Remember that. I'm not going to go there again. Um, Freaky Friday. Free Day Friday. Yeah, let's have a pizza party. Mankind, you guys have earned enough tickets. So we get to have a pizza party on Friday. <laughs> 
you remember pizza parties? All you did is you just you, you just ate pizza in class. But they were like it was like heaven. It was like the best days ever in school. Yeah, mankind pizza party! Oh, the pizza parties. Childhood never got better than pizza parties in, in uh, at school. Um, I'm gonna miss you, man. I know. Tomorrow's the last cast ever. <laughs> Why do I keep making that joke? God, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be gone for nine days. Next week, there's no Man vs. Game cast happening. We're gonna be in Walt Disney World. I will be back. Please don't unsub. Please don't unfollow. Please don't unfollow me on Twitter. Please, please don't kill yourself. Because you think Man vs. Game is done. I'm not. I'm here. I'm gonna come back bigger and better than ever. And also slightly less pale. Um, so, I love you all. Uh, here's a website that I don't update at all. I haven't updated yet. Maybe on, on, the, on the trip I'll have to write some posts or something. Mankind, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Uh, give me something good. Come on, give me some good music here. Random. Give me the good random. That's a great soundtrack. Kind of a kind of a weak thing to go out of. You know, I don't. Uh, the, the hatred of Disney is played up. Basically, Disney doesn't really do a lot for me. Um, hold on. I've got one here. I've got one. I think. Hopefully, let me try this one. I'm gonna go out on this one. But mankind, that's not it. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. We beat Remember Me. Feels good, man. Mankind, please do me a favor. Watch my cast tomorrow. Hang out with me tomorrow. The final cast for a good week or so. Well, about a week and a day, maybe. Um, should I go out on Crackle Fat? I feel like I overused the Crackle Fat, but maybe you're right. I always forget about the Crackle Fat. Uh, do I still have the other one? Damn it, I think I closed it. No, there it is. I should combine these two. Here you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this track there. No, 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 don't do that. There you go. Boom! Alright. Okay, guys. It can never be used. Fume up! Fume up! Fume up! Alright. Mankind, I am out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, 12 noon and 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, playing something. That's Eastern, yes, uh, don't worry about it. Mankind, have you heard Crackle Fat? Have you heard Crackle Fat? <laughs> Seriously, drop a beat under that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stronger than Scrimshaw, a skull full of guile. Whale bile, bones in a pile, white scrap gleaming. <laughs> Kindle fire, Crackle Fat, big black gobs of spat. Fume up, fume up. Feathers, mad-eyed bird fell to the ground. Seeds, nettle, needly needle, seeds, stir a bit. Dude, that's like some MF Doom shit. Dude, that's like the new latest hip-hop craze. It's gonna be sweeping the nation. Um, like seriously, drop a beat under that. <laughs> Strong and extreme shot, skull full of guile, with a pile, bones in a pile, white scrap cleaning, kill fly, crack on fat, big black gobs of spat, fume up, fume up, fume up, fume up, feathers bad, I heard fell to the ground, seeds nettle, needle, 